Well, tomorrow, believe it or not, kicks off the 2023 hurricane season. And while many are hoping for a calmer summer after last year's devastating storms, experts say now is the time to prepare. That's right. Fox's Anna Eliopoulos has how FEMA and the federal government are getting ready for the season. For the 2023 hurricane season. President Biden briefed by cabinet members FEMA and his federal emergency preparedness and response team on the projections for the 2023 hurricane season, which kicks off in the Atlantic on June 1st. We're getting more and more accurate forecasting of hurricanes, their tracks, their intensity, their associated storm surge, which means saving more lives because we can anticipate what is likely to happen with greater accuracy. Biden promising his bipartisan infrastructure law, which passed last year, will help communities confront weather disasters when they hit. So far, billions of dollars in funding from the $1.2 trillion bill have gone towards thousands of new projects, from building and repairing roads and bridges to investing in clean energy. Over the past two years, a third of Americans have been personally affected by extreme weather conditions. Hurricanes and other extreme weather events in the U.S. caused over $165 billion in storm damages in 2022. 14 named storms and three major hurricanes, Fiona, Ian, and Nicole, all causing destruction across a half dozen states and killing dozens of people. And experts are warning, when it comes to severe weather, the safest and smartest thing to do is pay attention to local media and follow tips and evacuation orders from officials. You want to have your hurricane plan in place now, especially if you live in a storm surge evacuation zone, that if you're going to be asked to potentially leave your home or where you live, that you know where you're going to go, how you're going to get there, what you're going to take with you. The 2023 hurricane season runs until the end of November. In New York, Anna Eliopoulos, Fox News.